Hello everyone, it's me Sarah. Welcome to my channel, A Curious Cuttlefish. Today I'm going to be showing you the next step in our yarn dyeing process. Hello everyone, it's another day. And now that our yarn has been drying for a while, it is completely dry. So I was able to take it off and hank it up. And um, I actually made some yarn cakes. So you'll see the difference from what it looks like caked and what it looks like when it's in a hank. So let me go grab those yarns. These are the yarns that um, are for my birthday giveaway winners. So... Okay, so that first one will be, here is that one, the blue and yellow, and that gray that turned purple. It's right there. But there is a hank of this yarn. Let me pull it out to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I will have a photo of this to put up so you guys can see what it looks like laid out. But I am so excited to send this out to my um, wonderful subscribers. So um, for those of you watching, by the time this video is uploaded and um, you guys are watching this, this will have already been packaged up and sent out. So, recording this video a couple days early. So here is that yarn. And I, okay, so this wasn't exactly like the picture. I still want to try to make yarn like that picture, but I think this yarn is gorgeous. And so um, if you're not familiar with how to hank up yarn, what I do is I'll put it on two of my hands, like so, and then I just alternate twisting it. So you want to get a very nice twist in there. I keep two to three fingers inside. You want it to get a bit tight around your fingers. Okay, so now I'm down to two fingers inside, and I just slowly bring it together and it will twist itself. I usually do have to twist this a few more times up top when I am pulling through. So here are the two ends. I pull one loop through the other one. And then once it's through, that is how you get a nice little hank. So this is, these hanks are 50 grams. So there you go. There's that colorway. I wound this one a bit tight, but this is how it looks like if it was going to be a hank. Now, when you cake it up, it becomes, it is a variegated yarn. So here is that same yarn as a cake. And I think it is beautiful. So there are the colors and how it looks once it is cake. So this is the seam. I dyed these yarns at the same time. So this is going out to one of my winners. So excited to send this. So there's the cake. And then here is my other one. This is the same yarn base. This is a mohair. So we have this beautiful purple and green colorway. Um, and this one I did the exact same dye and I tied them all at the same time, but I did them on two different bases. So here is the purple that goes into that green. There is speckling on it. I'm not sure if you can see on here. I'll try to take pictures, but um, we have some speckling of yellows and blues and browns. There's blue speckling in the purple. There's some blue in various spots. 
here. This is a uh, superwash merino wool, and they are these two skeins were dyed at the same time. But if you can see the difference, let me pull this skein out or this hank. I am going to hold them side by side. Let's see, there we go. They were dipped at the same time. They were dyed at the same time. But you can see the merino wool picked up the color differently than that mohair. So there's the greens. You can see the green is more vibrant. This one is more pastel-y. And so just the difference in fibers will, even if I'm using the exact same dye bath, um, they will pick up these colors differently. So I think this is the darkest part of that purple. But there you go. So you can see the difference there. Even though they are the same color, these colors turned out different. So it's very fun to try out, even if you have colors that you like, just see how they behave on various fibers. I will be doing videos of the exact same color on a range of fibers. So be looking for that. But I just wanted to take you through the step-by-step -step process of what it's like to tie yarn day by day. Sorry, my voice is a little funny today. Huh. Um, so yes, there's this colorway and I just love, <clears throat> love how it turned out. So again, this one is our merino wool. So I'm just going to twist this up. So depending on how tightly you twist, um, it's how the hank will look. So we finish hanking this one up and I'll show you what these two look like as cakes. So this is the mohair, there is the hank, and here it is caked up. So there's the cake of this yarn. These are for Doreen. And then that same one, here is the Superwash Merino. This is what it would look like if it was in a hank. And here is that superwash merino in a cake. So there are those. These are the seam. So this is what your hand dyed yarn will look like once it is caked up and you are working with it. So there was my day-by-day -day progression of dyeing these yarns. You can now see how long um, hand-dyed yarns take. I will be doing other dyeing videos where you can dye along with me if you like and um, see how different fibers react. I'm going to be working with some cotton yarns next. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me on my yarn dyeing adventure week. And um, I hope to see you all soon. My podcast is probably coming out tomorrow. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.